All right, I wanted to teach you about a term that I learned only in the last couple years that uh, was very helpful for me to learn, and it captures a phenomenon. And so the name of this term is the henpecked husband. And so I don't remember where I learned this. I think it was in a book about relationships. But basically, the idea is that there are there's this paradigm, this trend, where some husbands end up with uh, wives that kind of break them down, kind of chew them down, and uh, and kind of erode their masculinity uh, over time, basically making them more and more passive. And let me give you a story to illustrate this. So I was at the grocery store. This is years ago. I think it was probably before the pandemic. Um, so I was at the grocery store, and there was a man there with his wife, and looked like maybe either his mother or maybe mother-in-law, and then there was a couple children as well. And so the wife was like looking at the grocery list and she's like, okay, go get this. She's kind of like barking orders at him. And then he was walking and she's like, no, stop, turn around, come back to your left. And it was just like, bar and he's just like had this kind of defeated, like, okay, whatever look on his face. Now, obviously, like, I don't want to read into the rest of their relationship just from that one anecdote, but put it this way. I would not tolerate being treated like that in public anymore. It's emasculating. It's disrespectful. It does, not sh it does not demonstrate someone who uh, wants you to be your best self. Now, what I will add is another gigantic caveat. Maybe that's his paradigm. Maybe he was a submissive man and he liked being treated like that. That's perfectly fine. I'm not here to kink shame. And there are, uh, I think it's anywhere from a quarter to half of men prefer to be submissive. So if that's you, like, great. If that's your paradigm, not here to judge. Um, but what I will say is that for many men, that is not their paradigm, and they're still treated like that. And society has told men, it is your fault, you are guilty, um, therefore just empower your woman. The woman has all the power in the relationship. And so when you combine this hyper-empowered woman narrative with any number of other social paradigms or trends, you end up with this phenomenon of the henpecked husband who's not allowed to push back, who is kind of broken down, and corroded over time. Now, what I will say is, um, also from my reading, this is not necessarily a new phenomenon. One way that it, was, that it was explained is that in the past, when women were structurally, systemically dependent upon men and not able to, for instance, have legal status, not able to own property or have jobs, one thing that women learned to do was to become manipulative. And so rather than speaking directly, they spoke in code. And this is this, you've probably seen like all the memes out on the internet, like, oh, women, you know, women are crazy because they can't, they can't say what they mean. And really that was just a reaction to women being uh, discouraged from being direct for many centuries. Um, so there's actually no evidence that women can't communicate plainly or directly. Um, it's just that women have been forced to communicate um, implicitly uh, or indirectly or passively for many centuries. I actually, my uh, high, my, not my high school, my college girlfriend, she did this really badly. And I said, why do you talk like that? And she's like, well, like we're trained to talk like that. We're trained not to be direct because it's considered rude. And I'm like, okay, well, your speaking in code is more aggravating than just being plain. And even my current wife, there was a, earlier in our relationship, I said, just speak directly. Cause she would start like talking about around a problem. She would circumscribe a problem. But I'm like, just tell me what is going on. She doesn't do that anymore. So my point here is that there's several trends, whether it's the empowered woman trend that women should have all the power in the relationship um, that some people believe, whether it is the age old patriarchy, the reaction to patriarchy that basically said that women can't be direct um, or whatever else. There's all these trends conspiring to basically make it okay for women to undercut or emasculate their men. Um, and for some people, that is honestly how they believe the world should work. You look out there on Reddit, you look out there on Twitter, there are plenty of people out there on TikTok, there are plenty of people who believe that this manipulative, undermining, emasculating pattern of communication and this relationship schema is natural and healthy and good. And I'm here to tell you that it's not, that this is basically the henpecked husband where it's just like peck, 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 peck for many, many years. And that was me with my first wife. That's honestly, that's why I'm making this video is because I was under that impression that it's like, okay, as a man, 
I don't, I don't, I don't support the patriarchy anymore. So therefore I have to be against the patriarchy and just give my wife all the power. And, um, yeah, she abused that power. And a lot of women do. Now this is not, uh, this is not to justify misogyny and not to say like, all oh, women are like this. Um, it's not even about any individual women. What I'm talking about are trends that have, like the feminist trend has been, you know, the last century, but the patriarchy trend has been the last several millennia. Um, so a lot of these long-term historical cycles are influencing the current social paradigms. And the current social paradigms aren't working and most people don't even know why. And that's really what's, what's been kind of illuminating to me and why I've decided to make this channel is because it's like, wait, I see the pattern. Maybe if people see the pattern with me, then we'll be able to unpack it. So the pattern of the henpecked husband is literally centuries in the making. And now that we're aware of this, we need to unmake this pattern. So thanks for watching. Cheers.